Two birds, two bats, and of course, the ever-widening circle of crazy people. Listen, I just want to take a second and thank all the folks that have subscribed recently. Big uptick in that recently. Can't figure out why, but it is. And I just want to tell you that you are appreciated, and I want to welcome you to the old dog family. And of course, a big shout out to those who have been with me for a long, long time. Okay, well, they say that a man's home is his castle. And I have a friend that took that phrase literally. <laughs> this is an ongoing tale that I've been watching with fascination for about three or four months now. My friend Joe and his lovely wife Lizelle have been building their home. And um, there's two or three or four components of this that I found fascinating. Number one, Joe has never built a home here in the Philippines before, nor has he ever worked with concrete before. But he did work as his own contractor. Number two, it started off as one thing and has completely morphed into something completely different. Number three, the speed at what this project is moving at. And last but not least, how much it's costing. I have heard estimates of everywhere from 60,000, 80,000, 200,000. The sky's the limit. When you guys watch this video and find out what they're building and what they're getting and what they're getting for their dollar, I think it'll really trip your trigger. All right, so here goes my little video with Joe and Lizelle. All righty, kids. As I said in the introduction, I'm here with Joe and Lizelle, and they are going to show us the stages that they are in right now with Joe building his castle for his little queen. And so thanks for being on the channel, guys. Sure. Hi. Hi, guys. All right. So what we'll do is we'll take it one step at a time. And how long ago did you start this thing? It's been... Um, how long ago this? Thing? How long ago did you start construction? Now it's been three months. Three months. Yes. You know, it's interesting as I hear most places they take six to seven months using a contractor wow. to build a place. That's just been the rule of thumb yeah. from the three or four guys that I've interviewed. And you, who's the contractor on this job? I am. You're it. Yeah. And how much did you build a concrete house? No, I've never done that. No, but this is a concrete house. Oh, yeah, I've done it now. I You've done it now. Yeah, yeah. But how many did you build before this? Zero. Zero. Okay. Right. So you just kind of learned on the fly. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been studying it for a couple of years, a few years. Um, I built 12 houses, big houses in Missouri. Okay. Back in the United States. And I built three for us um, above that 12. And so I know about wooden houses, but I don't know anything about concrete. Okay. But that's what you have to build here because of termites. Sure. So. And so, what did you? What was your formula with the with the with the concrete? That was scary because I wanted to change the Filipinos' formula, which I've seen other guys do that, and these Filipinos have been working with concrete for millennium. You know, they know what they're doing. So if you jack around and change it, you're the dumb one. And but I researched a lot. And I also watched a Texas Filipino, and he's a good builder. Yes, he is. And uh, so I decided on one, two, three. So that means one sack of cement, two sacks of sand, and three sacks of gravel. And what's the normal formula? One, four, five. Okay. And so you were telling me earlier that they build bridges out of your formula. Yeah. After, after I told the guys, I want to use one, two, three, yes. they said, sir, that's commercial. That's yes. what we build bridges out of. I said, that's what I want. <laughs> that's <laughs> perfect. That was the perfect answer. All right. Commercial building. In so the I, every time I come out here, I think May and I have been out here four or five times yeah. and watched it. And it's just remarkable to me at how fast you are moving along. And you are your own contractor. Yeah. And you've never worked with concrete before. It's uh -huh. always been wood. I'm but you've just been learning on the fly. Yeah. And, uh and, uh, so you've been living over here in this little deal, <laughs> and you've been living there now. Oh, yeah. Okay. We love it. So you put that up. How much did that cost? How much did it cost? $1,500. $1,500. $1,500 USD. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Roselle's the money manager. 
on this thing. She's the one that's keeping everything in check. And right up front, let's just go ahead and, and, and share it with the people. How big is this land that we're standing? And then we're going to go on the tour. How, how three, big is this land? 375 square meters. So 375 square meters. Mm -hmm. How long ago did you purchase the land? Um, that was here 2019. 2019, so yes. five years ago. Yeah. Yes. In USD, how much money did you spend on the land? That was Just like... On the lot. Just the lot close to seven thousand dollars. That's what I thought. Seven thousand. Yeah. Okay, seven thousand yeah. dollars. And the boss over here, the smart one of the group, and the pretty one, <laughs> she's the one that keeps eye on the on the on the pesos coming and going. Yeah. How much money have you spent on this house so far? So or far right now is twenty five thousand dollars. And a hundred ninety something. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean to tell you. <laughs> Even though yeah. it's 190. <laughs> so $25,000 know and 190 good. plus the land. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Seven? Yes. Yeah, seven. So you're into this place for $32,000. Right. right. And you were going to build a single story. Yes. Yeah. Right. And then. Uh, that's what she wanted. That's what she wanted. So did you get your single story? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here, yeah, but he added it. So what did you do? You just decided that you wanted to build a, a, a castle or no. a fort or what? No, I didn't know I was going to do it. When I changed the cement mixture to make uh -huh. it strong for uh -huh. the typhoons and everything, so it's her house, I, you know, I wanted to be safe. Sure. I also upgraded all the steel. Okay. They wanted number nine rebar, which is like a pencil. Like, give me a break. Right. So I said upgrade that to 12. I upgraded the 12 16. to 16 and yes. the pillars and beams. And then they said, and I thought I was building a single story. Then my foreman said, sir, you realize what you've done now? This is strong for enough for a second floor. Yeah. Interesting. I'm like, yes. really? Yeah. Because I wanted a terrace to okay. play ping pong you know, okay. at nighttime or whatever. Okay. And I'm like, oh, we're going for it. We're building a second story. So then you got the second story done and you stopped there. No. No. She thought we did. But he <laughs> kept going up. There's fourth floor. <laughs> How many? It's actually fourth. Four. four. Just it's just little on the very top. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's just going like this. See, I needed a t ten by twelve area. Well, that was my excuse to cover the ping pong table for okay. lighting. All right. And she said, "Oh, okay." Uh huh. And then I'm thinking, you know what? That's a third floor. Ten, 10 by twelve. It's small. Uh huh. But it's going to be her studio. Okay. And I thought, well, I still want a place to put a telescope. Uh -huh. So guys, we're going up fourth floor. And all my guys, I think I, I had six guys, including her brother. And they're all laughing because they knew she was a little bit aggravated at me. Her? Aggravated? I've never seen her do anything but smile. She, I can't she imagine went, her being aggravated. She never yelled at me or said anything wrong. No. But when, the, when we did the fourth, they're like, sir, sir, let's go fifth floor. And they're all smile, and I'm like, no, no. <laughs> all right. Well, all right, so I'm, I'm doing my best to show what a single-story house looks like after Joe gets done with it. <laughs> and I'm, re I'm just amazed at the price. Yeah. I really am. So am I. I mean, as, mm -hmm. as the quality, the rebar, yeah. the cement mix, just, you know, you being your own contractor, you have never worked it with concrete before and learning on the fly. Um, I guess it came down to the builders. It yeah. came down to the guys that you selected. Um, would you it, agree it, with that? Yeah, yeah, I would say I've been a contractor, but a painting contractor and a carpenter contractor sure. for 30 years. Sure. So I'm really good at working guys and keeping their attitudes up uh -huh. and not skipping a beat. When they yeah. get done with one job, I know what they're going to do next. Awesome. And that's how we get... So and I think living over there and being on site, does that play a pretty big role? You think so? I don't think so. Living here? Yeah, that way we can watch everything? Yes. Yeah, it's perfect. That's yeah. what I've been hearing. Yes. That if, if you leave the guys alone, no disrespect, mm -hmm. but they tend to work a little slower, take a few more oh, breaks. Yeah. But with the bosses around, everybody kind of pays keep attention. Keep going. They keep yeah. going, huh? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, let's take take us inside. All I right. got. A, there's our steps. There's bags of cement. <laughs> bags of rocks. 
This is just a tempo okay. temporary. We are going to have a, uh, a drawbridge because it's a castle. That's right. You're going to put a drawbridge here. Yes, yeah. here. Because it's a castle. Yeah, You've not? got a door, but you're going to put a drawbridge also. It was not her idea for the drawbridge. That's... I didn't think it would be. <laughs> Something tells me. All right, let me see if I can get up here. All right, I'm going to back up over here and get an angle from like this. So why don't you start at that back wall there. Ahead, huh? Tell me what's what and where is it going and how's it doing. You want to go straight You're going to explain it. So you're the one. Okay, watch out this fishing line. This, this, these, this is what they use to make everything straight. straight. Okay. Yeah. She said, so it's really hard for me to get an angle out here. Yeah. Okay, that's so this is gonna, this is like outside of the house, but Screen it's gonna be room. screened in. Yeah. Yes. And it's gonna be our laundry here. You are going to have up here. Right now, you've got this temporary staircase. Right. And the actual staircase is gonna go up through that square there. Staircase yes. or elevator. Or elevator. Yeah. I don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's for and you. So, you're going to screen this in, and you're going to have, what, a barbecue or something? Yeah, I'll over put a there. barbecue over here so I can look at the mountains when I barbecue. Nice. That's a pretty view. And then, uh, what did you say about a laundry chute? This oh, right yeah, here? yeah. So that's the laundry chute from upstairs. Yeah, and we'll put a pulley in a basket, and that way we can raise the wet laundry so up. she doesn't have to carry it up the stairs. And hang it to dry upstairs. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So this is going to be a laundry area here. Yes. Where you got the hookup. Oh, there's yeah. your laundry area. Okay. Got yeah, the hookups and electric. Plug it in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then let's go in here. This is the kitchen area. Yeah. This is gonna be here. So this here is the kitchen. It's gonna be a kitchen here. You can explain. So where's your it, sink huh? gonna be? Right here. There's your sink. The only thing Lizelle wanted was a one-story house uh -huh. and a kitchen with a shape like this, an L, so she can look at whoever's in the living room. Okay. You know, say you and May are over here visiting. Right. And she's cooking or doing not laundry. Dishes. Cooking. Yeah, so she can visit. Yeah. Got it. So she didn't get the one-story house, but she got the kitchen the way she wanted it. Okay. Yes, and this is going to be cabinets here. Cabinets yeah. there? Here is the countertop here. All right. Rice yeah. cooker, coffee cup. And yeah. what about refrigerator? Over here. Over there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what's the dimensions of this room? Because you guys kept it small and simple, it's which is good. It's 20 feet wide, the whole house. Uh -huh. 20 feet wide and 32 feet long. Okay. And that's the same dimensions as our log cabin in Missouri. Uh huh. And we've lived there for five years and we found out we like that size house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just works. Right. Us. Right. It's shelter from the storm. Yeah. Yes. You, it's just you two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you don't have little kids running around or any of that kind of stuff. No. So who really needs more, right? Yeah. Kind of, you kind of like the art of a minimalist here. Right. And you guys are comfortable that way. Yes. You don't need anything big or showy or fancy. No. Except for this <laughs> chandelier that they have. It <laughs> looks just like a group of bananas. I yes. think that's going to be awesome when you get that hung. Now, the windows. You were telling me about the windows. You used our friend Jules, turned yeah. you on to a dude that does windows. I asked Jules' advice. Okay. And he's advised me several times. So these are all custom made openings. I just said I want three feet by four feet, and this by that, and uh, I knew they would custom make me the windows. So we got 11 custom made windows installed oh my God. for $700. 700 bucks. Yeah, labor and the custom made windows. Nice. So quarter inch glass. It's, it's heavy glass. Okay. So and look at this door. It's next. Like my, this is like my gun safe at home in Missouri. You can see, see all these bolts that come out? Yeah. And then of course this one. And so I think this is off a of bank vault. I don't know. That's what my contractor said. This is what they put on banks. Nice. Maybe, I'll, maybe Jules might know. But I thought you were kidding around when you sent me a message saying I've got a bank full door. <laughs> but you weren't. <laughs> That's what my I've never seen it like this except my brown safe. But home. you know what? You have to do this kind of stuff out here because you're not in the middle of nowhere. You have neighbors and everything. Yeah. But you're yeah. still exposed, you know? 
Yeah. It's not like you're in a subdivision and all that kind of stuff. You're still out here a little bit in the boonies, not yeah. completely. But you know what? I, I go walking at 1 o'clock in the morning here. Right. It is so safe. Right. And Filipinos are friendly and not violent. I sure. Mean, but well, I agree with this because you only need that one Looney Tune, you know, to come in and yeah, it's better right. safe than sorry. You're right. So, all right, so let's continue on with the little tour. Let's see, take a look at this room over here. What do we got here? Over the windows one day. You want to tell them about this room? This is going to be our bedroom. This is your bedroom? Yes. And what's the dimensions of it? Uh, it's 10 feet by 12 feet. 10 by 12, yeah. okay. And, uh, and we'll have recessed lighting, you know, on the ceiling fan. Mm -hmm. So it'll be pretty and she'll make curtains. Well, I think it's cool because we're getting here, and I couldn't believe it because you said you're like 80% done right on now. this house. Oh, yeah, I think it is. We just need paint tile. And I believe you, brother, because I come out here and a month ago, and it's a whole different animal than what it was. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I didn't even see any walls, I think, last time I was here. I just saw the beginning. So these guys have been busted and moved, and so have oh, you. Yeah. Well, I don't think the roof. The roof let's take a look. Let's take a look and show, just show them what you got going on over here to the right. So this is the family area here. Yeah. Yes. With a couch here and a TV up on the wall. Okay. And then this is the CR. Yes. Yeah, that's the CR. That's why there's a small window. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gonna be the CR. Mm -hmm. And then. This is my drawbridge. And there's your drawbridge. This is probably 1,500 pounds of mahogany. Wow. And we'll bolt it all together and lift it with a winch. It'll, it'll be cool. And you're going to have a remote control? Yeah. And I did the same thing at our log cabin in Missouri. I can sit on the couch and use my remote. And it'll lower and raise the drawbridge? Yeah. Well, actually, it's the stairs in our log cabin to go upstairs. But here? Here, it'll, yeah, it'll be for the drawbridge. Okay. Because if you have a drawbridge, you have to raise it. Yeah. Otherwise, it's only a ramp <laughs> for a wheelchair. So. <laughs> And then this is mom's room over here? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. It's going to be mom's room. Mom's room. Yeah. You have to close. And you, this is interesting to me because you're a carpenter. Um, I don't pretend to remember how much it would cost to go to, what do we call it out here? Well, there's just a furniture store. I can't remember the name of it. Um, Something like that? Foam? Yeah, Mandawi Foam. Yeah. yeah that's to it. go buy a bed frame. Right, right. I don't remember what it would cost, but you built that. And how much did you guys spend on that? About ten dollars. Ten bucks. This is left over from building the house. Just yeah. Like scrap. It's a scrap. So this made your wifey happy because you saved money. Yeah. She likes it when I don't spend too much. I like saving and I like using the scrap. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told the guys yesterday, him over there made this instead of we're buying. Right. Save money. Perfect. Yeah. And it works just as well, if not better, than something you would have bought made out of particle board yeah. or some, some it's you know, be metal covered up. thing. Yeah, yeah no, sure. Really heavy. Up there. And show me mom's bathroom. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Over there outside. And she's welcome to use the one in the house. But yes. She's yeah, so know. close to this one. Yeah. Really close. Oh, yeah, the microphone. So, All right, what do we got going on here? Careful. It's actually a big two. Um, this is a like what you would see at a campground. Yeah. Okay. This is just for our guys. This is ours and this is mom's over here. So you've got a dual shower. Yeah. yeah. And it's set apart from the house. Right. Yes. The only reason is when we built the barracks. Uh -huh. See here it's common. Your guys usually are from far away to build. Uh -huh. So the first thing they do is build a barracks. Which right. Is that green building. Right. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, where are they going to use the CR? I said, uh -huh. in the woods. They can jump over to the jungle. <laughs> we built and this. She did like that, so she said build a bathroom. Yeah. So it's handy for everyone. And yes. it's going to be handy for you. Oh, this yeah. is awesome. I love it. Uh -huh. Yeah. You got his and her. Yeah, we have a um, cold and hot nice. shower here. Yes. Nice. Put heaters up. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so two full-on showers, a commode, his and her sinks. <laughs> Let's keep on rocking. Yeah. All right, we're going to go upstairs next. I'm going to shut this off here. Okay. Okay, we're back. We made it up the stairs, <laughs> or I made it up the stairs with my vertigo. <laughs> so this is your second floor. 
Yeah, what, what we're standing on. Uh huh. Yeah. And so, explain to me what's going on around here. We're getting a little wonky with the light. Okay. Uh, well, I decided since we had a second floor, and I was building a secure house, and I had security in my mind, so I just turned it into a castle at this point. We made four guard towers. There's one. There's number two. There's number three. And there's number four. So all your four corners are protected, huh, Joe? Yeah. yeah. We're good to go. And, then I and this is going to be the ping pong room? Yeah, that's all this started to be, a terrace where I could, you know, come up here and play ping pong. Her and I like to do that at home at the log cabin. Okay. On the front porch. Okay. And so... I thought it'd be fun to do that. And then I knew I needed lighting above the ping pong table. And so for lighting, I said, well, you know, build this. Which Let me get back over here. All right. All right. So now we've got, this is your roof. You've got a steel roof and that's all insulation there. Right. And it's actually very cool. Yeah. Yes. And it's a hot day today. Yes. Yeah. It really is. It is nice up here. And up here, it's actually cool. It's mm -hmm. actually pleasant. Yeah. So this little area here, this little white area, it's 10 that's feet. another floor. Yeah, I turned into that. It's 10 feet by 12 feet. <laughs> and I'll put some stairs going up there here. And, uh, and this is where I was going to watch the stars with the telescope. Up there? Yeah. On that white area. Okay. Right, right. So that's a small third floor. And then she asked if she could have a, a studio for her sewing room, whatever she wants. Uh -huh. I said, yeah, you can have that. I got the guard towers. <laughs> so, <laughs> when she wasn't looking, I told the guys, she took this over, so build me a fourth floor for the telescope. Yeah, there's got really and up high. And that's it up there. Way up yes. there. I'll have to go Way stairs. up there. Need some stairs. Or so you've got another roof. Yes. And then there's going to be another floor up there. Yeah. There's 10 different roofs on this. There's what? There's 10 different roofs on this small, tiny house. Amazing. It, it just blew up. I don't know what happened. I think, not, you, I think not, you blew up. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the view. He's out of uh, control. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for pointing that out. Friggin' Joe. And now, what have you had to do to put the handcuffs on him with the budget? Huh? You made me stop spending money, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> That's why we're not done it yet. So how long do you think it'll take to complete? Oh, we just need paint, tile, and appliances. You know, the bathroom and the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be a month. And not counting up here, but a month downstairs and a month up here, maybe two months. Yeah. Okay, but here's the, here's the dealio. It's going to be a while because if they've seen my videos with your, you and then with your lovely wife, she's the proverbial 90-day fiancé. Yeah. So you guys are going back to America mm -hmm. and you got to hang for six months yeah. to fulfill the requirements yeah. of green your card. Your Usually your they say card. I can stay here at least it's not more than a year, but since I'm just permanent resident, I think I want to make it safe, not stay more than six months. I agree. Yeah. And last time they did give her trouble at the airport. Yeah, and you have some question. We were, yeah. Yeah. So six, as of now, six months here and six months in Missouri. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Which is to fine. make it fair. And yeah. then you guys work when you go home, right? She does. She does. Yeah, I gave her Joe. my painting company. <laughs> Dude, I'm 61 and retired. <laughs> I'm not working anymore. <laughs> so yeah, I can work with somebody, but he won't let me. I drive her. Yeah. yeah, but you guys do all seriousness. You do go out and paint houses, get yeah. a few jobs. You don't just hang around the house all day in Missouri. No, no the cabin. She'll do a few interiors. Uh -huh. Yeah, the easy one. Paint the bedroom. Yeah. And you've been doing that all your life, so you've got that down to a science. And you yeah. taught her. Yeah. So she's do you like doing that? What? Do you like painting houses? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you like the, the money. money. You like the money. See? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I told her I'd make money. That was my mistake. <laughs> Otherwise, I should stay here and grow rice. And I, this has nothing to do with house building. I know I've asked you this question before, but for someone that's seeing you guys for the first time, where do you prefer, Lizelle, living? America or here? 
to stay. Yeah. Here. Here. Yeah. Why? Um, I think I'm more comfortable. Um, you know, some of the the only I don't like in America is the new generation. There is not really respectful. They're not respectful. That's true. It's I don't like it. I mean, I I like to hang those old ladies in church. You know, yeah. I like them. You like the ladies in church. Mm -hmm. They're older. I like them. But, but the younger generation. The younger no. There's like no respect. I mean. Yeah, to their parents. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. I didn't get any. As I noticed. I mean. Yeah. Because sometimes we're together. And then. It's like this younger generation. is like. I don't know. They just don't. Yeah. There's more yeah. respect here. You know. The okay. kids will come up and want you to bless their hands. Right. And, right. So I, I got two questions left. Number one, um, what's the total cost going to be? And I'll ask the smart person in the group. Joe, you just go there and, you know, yeah, thank you. Total. Let me ask the, the smart person here. How much total is this going to cost? This house? Mm -hmm. Land, for, everything. Oh, for everything? Not the furniture, but just the, just the house. Just the house. Maybe around 35, 30 something. Like About 35,000? Yeah. Because you're in it. What did we figure Well, maybe in? 30 if not included furniture. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Probably 30,000. 30. 30,000. 30, 30, yeah. And then? Which is amazing. I'm shocked. But. Yeah. Because I'm watching guys build houses out here for 100,000, 200,000, whatever. Yeah. Um, of course, it's bigger. They're, they're, they're little. But you guys have got, well, by going up. You guys really utilize the lot that you have. Yeah, this is a small lot. Yeah. 395 mm -hmm. or whatever it is. 375. Yeah. yeah, it's not very But you big. know what? We've been up here for quite a while, and you can see the view. And for the Philippines, it's, we've got the occasional chicken, but it's relatively quiet. Yeah. Now, here's the other good news. Is unbeknownst to me, you've been filming this thing since day one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you just recently uploaded it all to YouTube. Yeah. Right. Okay, so you have a YouTube channel, which you're not promoting, but yeah. you have, from day one, if guys are interested, they can actually watch you from day one. Right. When did I start filming, like when we were building the bamboo house? That was, up to, I think, last year? Yeah, I yeah guess last was. year. Okay. Yeah, that was All last right. year. And so you've got... Uh, how many videos on there? There's over a hundred, I think. Over a hundred yeah. videos. So what's yeah. the name of your two YouTube channel? Well, now I started a channel, Never Give Up Philippines. Never Give Up Philippines. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I was just doing this to film it for, you know, when I'm an old man on the, co on the in the rocking chair, mm -hmm. I can watch it. And like me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sort of. <laughs> well, and then, you know, people I leave behind one day, Yeah. they can look at it. Oh, there's Joe. And yeah, video so diary. I was, yeah, I was, which you gave me the idea for that, I think, seven years ago. That's what you were doing. I didn't want a channel, but I wanted a video library. Cool enough. And so it's kind of like a, what they call them, photograph. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's a video photograph of what you're doing here. It's a, yeah. Uh, a photo album, yeah, but, right, but right. different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like so, all right, so what's the name of the channel again? Never Give Up Philippines. Never Give Up Philippines. So I have never watched one of your videos, ever. You dog. I know. <laughs> but I just learned about it. And so it'll be something for me to binge watch one day. And so I'll put a link to the channel in right. here. And I know you're not really interested in all the monetization stuff and making money and all that. This was just a video diary. You threw it up on a YouTube channel. Yeah. And yeah, now it's, it's everyone can view it. So sure. there's something guys can watch you from day one. Well my and family back home, my sisters and brothers love seeing it, mom and dad. Absolutely. So and we're gone, we're away from them for six months. Sure. Now they can watch us every day if I put up a video. Right on. I have one other promise for you to make to me, or request I should say is you're not going to be totally done with this when you guys bug out of here to go to America. Right. But when you are done, can we come back and film it? Oh, yeah. All right. Furniture, the whole enchilada? Yeah. And then again, I'll talk to the pretty and the smart one <laughs> and find out how much this whole thing really ended up costing and the time frame and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming back on the channel, for sharing your lovely home. 
And I think this would encourage guys that they actually can build and buy something out here if they put their mind to it. And you didn't yeah. know anything about concrete. So you just no. got on there and learned, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. More research and work on before you build. What's more, that? More research. So research. Be yes, before you build. And canvassing all the materials, make sure it's good, you know, good and correct. I the would. prices, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to encourage a lot of guys to follow me because I have a lot of construction background. Right. And running crews, making guys work and right. make sure they're still happy. What I would encourage a guy to do is that little bamboo house, mm -hmm. 8 feet by 12 feet. And I sat and watched him build it. It's 8 by 12 and it's $1,500. And so you could have your own house on a tropical island. You'd have to buy a little piece of land, $1,500. I would encourage people to do that if they want a little bug out place. Not bad idea. Yeah. Not. All right, guys. We'll see you when we come back and we see the finished product. Okay. Right. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.